Welcome back everyone. Thanks for hitting that play button today. And uh, I know, I, I don't know about you guys, but I love garage doors with windows in them because I think they just look really cool. Plus it's nice to have that natural light coming into the garage, but it really stinks for when you're trying to shoot a vlog. Anyway, we've got the drone. We've got the, I don't know. I think we're up to eight GoPros now, but uh, we've got everything. Whoop, wait just one second. Now that looks a whole lot better than you guys being blinded by, you know, that light that kind of looks like uh, when I take my shirt off, I can blind you. <laughs> I need some sun bad. I've got that, uh, they call it a farmer's tan, you know. Everything's tan right here, but uh, your shirt and everything underneath it is uh, about as white as uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost. You know, some people ask me, you know, Chuck, when you go out and you do these vlogs and you've got all these cameras, you know, what, how do you charge these things on the go? It's very, very simple. It's called a halo. I don't know if you guys can... It's, it's got the carbon fiber on the front, but it's called halo. And on the front of this bad boy, and it really is a bad boy, is you've got all kinds of parts. You know, of course, on the front, you've got a light. So you can turn the light off and on. It's kind of cool at night if you need it. Uh, but you've got, uh, if, you need a, if you need to jump start someone's car, right here's a jump starter. This is cool. You don't even need jumper cables. And it, well, it comes with some little jumper cables that, that actually plug into this. You press this button, it lights up blue. And whoever's car it is gets in, turns the key, and it's starting. And this thing can actually jumpstart a V8 engine over like 80 times before it needs to be charged again. So that's really, really cool. Uh, I've got a couple of USB ports right here that you can plug things into. And that's what I do is I have two uh, chargers. Get some plug it in. So it's plugged in. I hit this button here. Fires the whole thing up. And voila, it's just like I plug this thing into an outlet in the wall. Not only that, but you do have a, a 110 on the side. So if you've got something else that you're needing to put in, plug in, car charger, you know, whatever you want to do. Guys, <clears throat> if you get out and you ever do anything, uh, I think this is one of the best kept secrets. Maybe some of you guys have seen this. Maybe you haven't. Actually get these from... Um, I don't know if you can get these from Amazon or not, but I actually bought this from, uh, I think it's called QVC. Uh, it's some type of uh, TV shopping thing. But this thing right here is so cool. Since I've had, I've had, my wife has one in her car. I have one in my work truck. Uh, of course, the Corvette has one. But I've had to jump people before who were at maybe a quick trip or they were somewhere and they were like, hey, does anybody have any jumper cables? You just walk up, boom. It, it literally takes just a few minutes to do this. But uh, again, this isn't some paid advertising or anything like that. I just think this is cool. Wanted to share it with you. Um, and if it's something that you want, I'll put a link in the description below where you guys can check this out. Um, I think it's a must if you do any type of traveling. Um, again, lots of charging capability with this thing. So enough with that. Back to this week's vlog. I got sidetracked there. Guys, that's that's very easy for me to sometimes get sidetracked with something. I get to thinking about things and I've got to learn to just stay on the straight and narrow. Well guys, I'm about to head to probably one of the largest Corvette shows that Oklahoma has. It's an all Corvette show. And it's held by the NCCO and it's going to be in a little place called Shawnee, Oklahoma, which is uh, closer just east of Oklahoma City. And uh, it's going to be about an hour, I think it's an hour and a half drive, maybe an hour and 45 minute drive from uh, where we're going to be. But I'm about to go meet up with the other uh, Corvettes that are going to be going from the Corvette Club. And we're all headed down there. Some of them uh, are actually registered in the car show and I think have already left earlier this morning. Uh, but I'm anticipating just a lot of Corvettes. And of course, you guys are going with me. So I hope you're excited about a day of Corvettes. So let's get out, get with the other Corvettes, and get to the show.
June 2nd, five years ago, okay. in 2012. I put the, it had seven miles on it when I got it. It's got 45,000 miles on it now. So it gets driven, it's not a show car, it's a go-car.
Well guys, that's this week's video. I want to thank you for stopping by. As you can see, I'm finishing up the editing and about to upload it so that you guys will have this for first thing Saturday morning. Uh, just a number, uh, just a quick couple of things I want to remind you of. Uh, if you haven't shared a picture of your uh, your ride with us, be sure to send it in. My email is in the description below. Again, it doesn't have to be a Corvette. It can be any type of car, motorcycle. Uh, we've had big trucks sent in. Um, so whatever it is that you love and you take really good care of and you want to show it to everybody, send it in. Also, make sure you give the video a like because if we get these uh, videos up to 500 likes I'm going to be giving away a Corvette Polo and also all you gotta do is drop a comment as you guys may or may not know that automatically gets you entered in to win the $25 gift card that I give away each and every Friday so guys until I see you next week next Saturday at 9 a.m. I hope you have a blessed week And I did